Well, we have even more news for our 2024 Maverick order banks. Big thanks to Tom Brogan for just giving this information to the Ford Maverick group. This is a private group on Facebook, which I'm in. And this is for the people who don't have access to the group, in case you're wondering. So he basically goes over what's going on with the current order banks and the changes. Uh, I'm going to kind of skim through it because he kind of gives his thoughts on it. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Uh, basically, what I said in my last video, they're going to go ahead and change. There is no price protection, which is interesting. Um, but if you have a rollover, you'll be able to do it, which is actually really interesting is a lot of the changes they made. Uh, so I guess that now the EcoBoost is a standard motor, and then the hybrid is now going to be an optional powertrain. It's not going to – because the 2023 – the hybrid was the default power change and the EcoBoost was an add-on. So they're kind of flip-flopping. And then the destination delivery went up $95. So it used to be $1,500. It's now $1,595. There's inflation. And you'll also notice this is for the 2024 models. All the prices have gone up. Every single model has gone up in price. Um, I think they went up about $2,000, I believe. I can't give you exact number. I don't have the old one in front of me. But... They've definitely gone up because my my hybrid with options was way less than this. It was like three thousand. It was like thirty thirty two or something. So it was almost two thousand dollars less than this. And this is with like the co-pilot, yo. Know. But the only thing that's interesting is they actually made some interesting changes. So the Harden bedliner is now default with the XLT. So it's probably going to be interesting if you want to upgrade to like the spray in. And then the Laureate package is now standard, which I actually didn't get because I really didn't care for everything that it came with, the luxury package. So I guess you're going to get the audio. That's also probably why they increased the price on it because you actually are getting the luxury package. And then the spray and bed liner is now included. It wasn't included before. And the wireless charger is now standard. And then they're also adding a different one for hair of the Copilot and Assist is now standard. I had to add this on to mine, which I thought was interesting. So it does... It does make sense why this is more expensive for the, the Lariat. So the Lariat model got a lot of add-ons, and they also modified the Tremor. The It's interesting that the uh, off-road appearance package was deleted, and then they actually got rid of a lot of people's favorite color. A lot of people love that Area 51, the Avalanche Gray, the Alto Blue, and Cyber Orange. Those are very favorite colors. They did add two new colors, which I'll show below. And then these are the different – um, uh, I guess these are their constraints – how many they can build? 20% they can build. XLTs will be 50% in the market. 27% will be laureates. And then I don't know where they came up with this number. I, I don't know if this is correct that they're getting 65 orders of EcoBoost and 35 hybrids. Because the main constraint last time was they didn't have enough hybrid motors. So like, oh, we don't have enough hybrid motors to sell. But it says it's only 35% of the market. So they can only build 35% you know, percent of whatever, whatever that number is. And then this is basically the same as it was last year. And then these are the reminder for the dealers that just telling people, hey, make sure you reach out your dealer. You get your you know, COVP approved for your order. And then it basically, they ask for price protection. I think the price protection is only planned if you have a rollover order. If you have a 2023 order and it gets pushed to 2024, they are offering price protection. So that's one thing. But if you have a new order, it's going to be whatever the new prices are. And then obviously once the uh, banks are closed, you can't do anything. And then there's – he talks about this. So July 10th, the order gates will be posted by the dealers. Then they'll get a price list. Order banks open on the 17th. Build and price will be live on the website. And then October 1st is when they're going to first start building the 2024. And these are – let's see if I can get you a better picture of this. So these are the new colors. This is kind of a cool color. And then this is kind of like an interesting – it's like a mixture of like the Area 51, but I guess they call it a you know gray metallic. So this is, I guess, probably a little darker than the Area 51, maybe a little less green. So this might appeal to more people. And this is more kind of like a, a tan color. You know, they're both, uh, I think they look pretty good. They're not bad colors. It kind of sucks how they got rid of the other colors. But if you're interested, uh, Tommy posted about this. If you want to respond on your thoughts, I just wanted to make a quick video about it. So this is what's going on with the 2024 Ford Maverick orders. Let me know in your thoughts below in the video. I'd like to hear in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.